Aloha everybody and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. In today's video, we're gonna take you along as we dine at the Olelo Room here at Olani. It's one of the few dining venues that we have not eaten at yet. And they supposedly have more traditional Hawaiian food and beverages and also live music and it's right next to the koi pond. Yeah, so I'm excited. We got here as soon as they opened. It looks like we're one of the first people here. Come with us on this <laughs> adventure. They have a lot of sushi. Let's look at the menu for the Oleo room. And it does look like they have a bunch of different appetizer dishes. Like they have popcorn fries, they have pokey, they have tacos, they got chicken wings, they got sliders. But yes, Kitra is right. They have a lot of sushi. They also have some, some dishes here for kids. So if you have kids that are picky eaters, they have like chicken strips and fries and stuff. And then over here, there's some ahi selections, some sushi hand rolls, some fat rolls. I don't know what any of this means. Oh, sake, I recognize that. I feel like we gotta get a bunch of stuff and try it all, except for the sushi because you don't like sushi. I mean, you can get the sushi. Yeah, maybe, we'll see. pond they have here. Yeah, we're up close and personal. Yeah, we saw them from far away the other day, but how big are those koi fish? I feel like you can't tell unless you're here in person. Yeah. Oh my god, I got excited. It looked like there was a turtle in there, but I think it's just like a statue. Oh, is it? Yeah. And then I like these like jumping water things. They remind me of like Epcot where they had like oh, the water. Yeah. Totally. Looks like the musicians have just arrived. Are you ready for some live music? Yeah, she put us front and center. It's like we're at a concert. Yeah, so what, what, what are we going to order for drinks? Do they have different drinks? or? No, I was just looking and they have the same drink menu that we've seen this entire time. But you know, we haven't ordered everything on the drink menu yet, so there's still plenty of stuff that we could try. And you haven't even gotten anything in a pineapple yet. What are you doing? Should I get something in a pineapple? I don't know. Just telling you that that is an option. I'm gonna make it my mission to try every single drink on this menu before our stay is over. I mean, we've already gotten like half the menu. Exactly. So we're we're doing good so far. Wow. <laughs> Wow. It be like a little for your there we go. Perfect. Okay, so for drinks, I went big. I got an Island Bliss in a pineapple. It's actually a frozen pineapple. There's no way to put your, your straw. You actually have to take this off, but it looks amazing. So an Island Bliss has Kohana rum, Captain Morgan's original spice drum, cream of coconut with fresh pineapple and orange juices. So basically, it's a pina colada, right? Eh, kind of. It has spiced rum, though. I mean, yeah, it's spiced rum and it also has orange. So it's pina colada with spiced rum and some orange juice. I'm going to put this paper straw in here and we're going to... Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Okay, that's very different than a pina colada. You definitely taste the citrus of the orange juice. You might call me a connoisseur of pina coladas. I would not even consider this in the category of pina coladas. This is a good tropical drink. There's a lot of ice in here. I thought it was gonna be a frozen drink, to be honest with you, but it's, there is like little ice cubes. I'm not sure if you can see that. And they sprinkled it, something on top too. Do you see that sprinkle, uh, the dusting? Almost like a nutmeg or cinnamon. I like it. I do think that their lava flow and their um, pina colada is better here, but I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to sit back, relax, enjoy my beverage out of this pi frozen pineapple because we're on vacation, right? Yes. So four to four Peters. 
Four out of four? Yeah. Are, are you drunk already? I'm drunk already. <laughs> four out of five Peters. I got the blue Hawaiian because, you know, we're in Hawaii and it's blue and it's the blue Hawaiian. It has Tito's handmade vodka, old Liahana silver rum, blue curacao, pineapple juice, and the house made sweet and sour. I don't know if I've ever had a blue Hawaiian before. It looks like saturated, like oversaturated. Like this photo, like I did something to this video and that like is even extra saturated than it is in no, like, do you know what I mean? It looks like... This is how it really looks. It yeah. looks like a mixture of like the blue milk in Galaxy's Edge mixed with like the green milk. You know what? It kind of looks like the color of the Navarro Nummies macaron that Baby Yoda eats. Kind of. Right? <laughs> what is that face? That is strong. Like honestly, it just tastes like pineapple juice. So what you're saying is this is one of those dangerous. It's right. very dangerous. I feel like one drink might be enough for me tonight, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's very strong, but it's very delicious, very tropical. Five out of five kitchens. This is just what I wanted. It looks like the band is prepping. Oh, he saw me filming him. I wonder if they take requests here. I wonder if they kidding. do like some of those like Hawaiian yeah. versions of Disney songs that we hear in the elevators. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Probably not. I have a feeling it's more probably like traditional Hawaiian music, yeah. but I don't know. Wow, it's so pretty behind you. This resort really like comes to life at night. Just all the colors. Yeah, it really has like this warm glow that at night like the, there's like these little, I don't want to call them tiki torches because they're diff different than tiki torches, but they, they light up at night in this there's just like this warm orange glow all around this resort at night. It's, yeah. it's kind of special. I didn't even realize we were right next to the waterfall. Yeah, the waterfall is awesome. And also behind me, like in the bar area, the inside, there's like, we gotta go check it out because they have a lot of Hawaiian words on the wall. And there's like objects like telling you what they mean. So I wanna like go around there and take a look at that. Maybe after we eat. Maybe we'll learn something. Yeah. <laughs> Culture. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh my god, all at once. Oh wow. <laughs> all this food. Thank you. Yummy. Do you need wasabi? Uh sure. Why not? Cool. Wow. That's a lot of food. We went a little crazy here. <laughs> I'm excited. Crazy or smart? Smart. Popsticks with Mickey. Expect nothing less here. Even the wasabi is Mickey shaped. Adorable. Yeah. All my days I will sing the praise of your sparkling waters, your shining sand. Before we dig into this delicious food, I want to give a quick shout out to some of our Patreon members. That includes Don Babcock, Migs, Lisa's Life, and Alara and Scott. Thanks so much, guys. Mahalo. One of the things I ordered was Korean style chicken wings. These are fried chicken wings with spicy Korean barbecue sauce toasted sesame and green onion and I was so shocked at how good these were. I was expecting kind of like maybe just like teriyaki wings or something like this but this has like a spice and a tang to it that like these are some of the best wings I've I've had at a Disney resort bar none five out of five Peters all night all day long they are incredible I they're just so good so good we also got the popcorn fries. This is buttered popcorn, french fries, green onions, wasabi oil, mayonnaise, a mochi crunch, nori, and furikake. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I was kind of scared of these because I don't really like seaweed. So I was worried about that, but the flavor on these is incredible. You could really taste that wasabi oil, and honestly, that makes these incredible. I would order these again and again and again and again, matter of fact. Probably gonna make Peter come back here just so we can get them again. 
and these definitely, you know, I'm gonna say it, five out of five. The more I eat them, the more I love them. You've gotta try these when you come here. I was just like shoving this in my face and I got like the wasabi oil like in the back of my sinuses. You know it's good when that happens. <laughs> I used to like be obsessed with wasabi peas and that would always happen to me because I'd always take these huge handfuls and then be like, and then, and then I wouldn't learn and I'd take another handful. This is so good. This one might be the most out of my comfort zone of any of the stuff I ordered tonight, and that is the pork belly niguri. It's house cured pork belly, it has a maple glaze, and it's fried garlic. And to be honest with you, I'm not sure if I like this. I'm not sure if I'm a sushi person. This is like a thick bacon chunk of pork belly, and you have like a maple glaze on there. You can definitely taste the maple, and the, the rice has like the garlic taste to it. But, I don't know. I'm not sure it's my thing. I'll give it like a three out of five peers. And last but not least, we got the Hawaiian Ranchers Sliders. This has applewood smoked bacon, avocado, cheddar cheese, Maui onion marmalade on a sweet roll. And I kind of messed up. I thought this was pork sliders, but it's actually just burger sliders. But, I don't know. These are very cute and they look very delicious. Like, look at that. The fact that it's on a Hawaiian roll has got me excited. <laughs> These are really good. You could tell that the beef is fresh and the addition of the Hawaiian roll takes us from like a normal slider and takes it up to like a hundred. Is it the best slider I've ever had? Probably not. But that being said, it still probably gets like a four out of five. share a little secret with, the, with you last night I just wanted french fries like as a snack a late night snack and they were seven dollars at the off the hook restaurant these are only nine dollars just come here and get these two dollars more and they're like way more amazing so above the bar at the Leo room they have famous Hawaiian names along with objects telling you what the names mean which is a good way to learn some Hawaiian vocabulary Oh, I found one that what? I I want to learn. Right over here. It's, which one? It's the cat. And it's Popoki. Or Pau Poki. We're still not sure how to pronounce things, but <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Right there. Cat Elga. Oh, castle. Yeah. That's so cute. It's the Disneyland castle. That's awesome. I love that. Oh, is it? does that mean mouse or Mickey? I e think e it means mouse, probably. Eoli? Eol Eoli. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> We're trying here. That one's cool, too, because it's the house from up. How? Hale? 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 <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wait, I know one. Menahune. <laughs> I, oh found, I found one. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Yeah. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I was wondering if there was one in here and it's hidden in plain sight. You think it counts? Yeah, for sure. I really didn't understand what this is. It's like a hand holding a purple block. But then I realized over here, there's a hand holding a green block. And over here, a hand holding a black block. So I think that's the colors. All right, pronounce them. Oh, so this is the alphabet, oh. but also how you pronounce the words. 
I appreciate that they have that up there, but I'm s still not going to know how to pronounce anything. Yeah. I'm going to look at that. It's too much work. Five seconds later, I'm going to forget. You know what they should do is they should take all these pronunciations and they should put it as a crib sheet on the Alani app. Yeah. So what? you could be walking around the resort and like looking to see how to say things. I'm honestly surprised they didn't do that. Maybe one day. Oh my gosh, look at Tigger. Kika. Kika. Do you think that's Tiger? Maybe. I'm guessing it is. If you look right above the Poloka, I found another Menehune. Oh wow. I would have never spotted that. <laughs> that's cool. How many do you think are in this restaurant? More than we're ever gonna find here. Come to the Vallejo room. I'm listening to these guys, they're really good. They almost brought me to tears for like a fifth day in a row. Not gonna lie. It's just so peaceful, I love it. But I feel won't be like I left you. So as we were paying our bill and leaving, they noticed that you know we were filming a video this whole time and loving it here, and they gave us a little parting gift. What is it? It looks like it's food. I have not looked to see what it is yet, but it says Mahalo, I keep a something something. It basically says thank you for joining us. I'm assuming. Yeah. And let's see what's inside. It's so nice of them. Our server was yeah. so nice. Oh, a little, it's a little like, like cupcake. Yeah, it's a little Mickey cupcake. I got one of these the other night for my birthday. It was delicious. Thank you guys. If you're watching, thank you so much. This really made my night. Because you guys didn't have any dessert on your menu and I really wanted to get something. So <laughs> perfect sweet treat to end our night. Well, I don't know about you, Peter, but I am stuffed. Yes, if you want to see more of our coverage from Disney's Alani and Hawaii itself, we'll put the playlist right over there. Check it out. We eat so many things and we do so many things. You're not going to want to miss it. You should probably subscribe too while you're at it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.